this is going to mirror that a little bit. So hopefully uh, Trickster here can actually stand up. Yes. Remember that Belcher Beast used to have three entrances to the natural, so it made it very difficult for that Protoss player to kind of hold that natural move out. Whereas now it only has two entrances, there's no third backdoor rock entrance. But it does make it a little bit more difficult to kind of send units over to take that third base location. So I'd say the map changes are good though. I like them and I think it makes it a much better map. And I think the reason that they were changed was because Zergs were just crushing base on this map. They just really were. Well, not only do these players only play in the GSL, they do practice it within their teams, and a lot of the feedback uh, managers of the teams do feedback to the GSL about the maps as well. So even though you only see a couple of uh, people play on it, it doesn't mean a lot of games aren't. So That's very true. LS Prime, a great map maker. He and Jackie make some of the best maps out there. This one was made by LS. Kravos made by Jackie, so... They work together, they're on the Prime Clan, and they do a great job with these maps, and they're always open to suggestions and tweaking. In fact, uh, L I don't know about Ellis, but I know Jackie Prime has a Twitter, I think it's Jackie Prime with an underscore at the end of it, you can look that up somewhere. And he's he loves to get feedback from you guys on the map, so just tweet at him about it. His English is okay, so you can listen to some feedback, I'm sure he'd be glad to hear it. Well, that's what uh, really the map maker needed in music the moment is they need a lot of feedback from the pro players, and uh, Jackie and uh, LS are in that position to receive that uh, directly from GOM or the players and teams themselves, but it looks like we're going to go into it any second now. This is a best of one, remember. All yeah. rides on this. It all rides on this. The countdown has started. Will July edge him out, or will Trickster show us some tricky styles on Belcher Beach? All right. Head or heart, which one do you think is going to take this one? I think... I, that's, I can't answer that I can't answer that. <laughs> I can't. Let's find out here on Belcher Beach at the GSL Codes. And one Void Raid does beat one Queen, and July actually doesn't yet have a second Queen. He may want to pull this back to the Spore. He's going to lose this Queen, but the Spore will finish. Yeah, if I were him, I'd be pulling that back, trying to bait the Void Ray closer to where it's in range of that uh, Spore Crawler when it finishes. At the moment, of course, not going to be able to do much damage as it does back off. Half an armor, though, is still a pretty good trade. Yeah, decent trade. Now, oh, this is like the build, man. This is this is so trendy. This is trendier than those glasses I see the Korean girls wearing on the street. <laughs> There's, this, there's these trendy pair of glasses that Korean girls are wearing recently. Just, they're all just wearing them. I'm like, why does everyone have the same pair of glasses? It's like this build, though. Everyone goes a few Void Rays or maybe one Void Ray in Phoenix. Is now everyone's just going up to six gates and doing a timing attack after that. We saw San do it. We saw Tails do it. It's everyone. We're seeing Trickster do it. I like how July's trying to bait both of those Void Rays into the Spore Crawler there with his Queen. Uh, unfortunately, one of them is charged all the, already. Going to work on the drones as well. Uh, the Hydra Den has finished now, so we've got seven Hydras in production. He will be able to bring them across as soon as he can. There's a little bit of a gap there for the creep, but it's not going to be too big of an issue. No, you're exactly right. Oh no, the Void is getting a little too close to that Spore Crawler. One does fall. And the Queen remains alive, or at least for now she will. Will that Void get the Queen? Does get that Queen. Things are looking kind of... You know, I, I want to say it's looking bad for July, but he does kill both of those Void Rays. He's only lost two queens. He hasn't really lost that much more. A few drones here and there. He is slightly up on the supply, and if we have a look at the drone count here as well, I, I think we'll see that it's actually fairly even. It's just going to come down to him defending himself. Actually, no, it's not even at all. It's 74 to 60 already here for July, and he's going to be able to pump out so many units. Yeah, this is actually... July has a somewhat predictable style in this matchup. He goes up to about 74 drones on three bases, then cranks out whatever unit is appropriate. That's how he plays this matchup. These Hydras are getting very aggressive. He's taking the Zelnaga Watchtower with those Hydras. Now, this is really cool. I like what Trickster is doing here. He's making it look like he's about to take a third base, but then he's actually just going to attack July when July has his pants down a little bit. Yeah, we do see him moving across the map. Now, we do have Burrow and Roach Speed on the way for July as well, though. The Robotics Bay isn't finished yet. No Colossus on the way for Trickster. And he does have a lot of energy on those sentries as well. And here he goes. Those Hydras might get Force Fields away, and in fact, they do. Those roaches kind of sitting in the back, not really doing anything. Even the drones trying to come in here and help out. But more force fields do go down. The roaches and the hydras not able to do a lot. He may target down the hatchery, then leave. 
and continue to throw down force fields to delay the units. They're actually going to try to go around for a flank, but I don't know if this is the right choice. They're going to be way away from Trickster's units. And in come the links here. A nice force fields by Trickster, keeping the roaches and the hydras off creep on the left hand side. We do have a couple of hydras on the right as well, though, but he has cleaned through all those links and now working on all the units here for July. He's got about six, uh, sorry, three hydras and 20 links in production as well. He's going to try and whittle these down. The hydras do a lot of damage to the gateway units. And it looks like he might barely be able to hold this off, but another warp in coming through here for Trickster. It's going to be very close. Yeah, he's backing away, wants to avoid those lings. The Stalker's doing so much damage here, though, even though the Hydras normally do well against Stalkers. Both players do have plus one. The Hydras is very fragile units, and he does finally have that critical number of Hydras, though, to push this back, at least until these units warp in. A terrible warp Whoa. in there by Trickster. He warps Zealots into Hydra Spines. That's not going to last very long. And it looks like July will successfully hold this. There's no blink. Plus one armor wasn't done. And July is going to hold this. It looked like he lost quite a few uh, quite a few drones there as well. If we have a look, he is now down to 50 drones. But July being July, he's going to get straight back up in the next 20 seconds or so. Yeah, he is actually right now making six more drones at once. He's going to continue to do that. He did miss a few injects during that. Of course, lost a queen as well, I believe. So yeah, that queen just popped out, so he's just trying to get those injects back up, keep up his production. Thermal Lance is on the way. How many Colossus? Did he even get a Colossus out? No, he, oh yeah, he did just get one Colossus. I couldn't find it. It was hiding on the map. There it is. You guys get a shot of it now. See where it was hiding? That's a good hiding spot. If I were it a Colossus, is. I'd hide there. But it has been seen by that Zergling now, so yeah, we do not, see a Spire. Not as good of a hiding spot as <laughs> I may have thought. No, but we do see the Spire response coming out from July. Pretty much the only response he can have right, yeah. right now. What I think Trickster needs to do now is take his third base immediately. He needs to get that up. He doesn't want to be in a spot where he's trying to stick with his two base when his opponent already has three bases. He's got a decent amount of drones. He can just make whatever unit is appropriate. A three base Zerg versus a two base Protoss oftentimes lets the Zerg just kind of have that critical number of drones to make whatever unit he wants. And then he just picks one and he makes it. Like, oh, you have Colossi? I'm going to have... A few roaches here, a few hydras there, but a lot of corruptors in the mix. If you don't have colossi, it's just mostly hydras. Just basically allows him to make what he what he wants, and it can be really comfortable. Yeah, we also have plus two attack coming out here for July. He did have 15 roaches in production for a second there, as they, a lot of them do pop. And we do looks like we are going to have an engagement in the middle of the water here. Oh, the Colossus getting completely taken down, and now he is still on creep, even though on the water. You can just barely see it under there. Getting a nice surround on all those gateway units. Actually, force fielding himself into a corner here. Running away with this Colossus, but the Speed Roaches are going to catch him. Going to have to force a cancel on that Nexus. And yeah, looking at the supply counts now, he's just... He is not going to hold it. It's no. just not going to happen. And Too many moving out on that map was a terrible choice by Trickster. If he had just kind of turtled up a little bit and tried to take that gold base, he would have been a decent spot. Now, you know, he's going to lose even more units. And I think he will hold this attack. He has two Colossi. He does have range. But it doesn't matter, he's going to lose all of his units and he just can't replenish them as quickly as July can. He yeah, just doesn't have the economy. July's at the point where he just makes more units and throws them down Trickster's throat. And that's exactly what he's doing here, chasing down that Colossus at the back. All the Hydras have fallen, to... but he just has so many units. Yeah, more and more Roaches streaming in here. They do have Burrow as well as Burrow Movement. He doesn't necessarily need to use either of those upgrades at this point. He does have plus two Missile Attack and Trickster has 1-1 one -one upgrades for all of his ground units. He is going to pull back now, burrow, regenerate his health, meanwhile just making more and more roaches. That's all he really needs at this point as well, he's kept him on two base, we've got a Twilight Council coming out now for Trickster, but I don't think it's going to be enough, we're looking at 156 supply to 100. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's rough, the thing is also that July, he's got a lot of those roaches and he just kept the Colossus count low, he made these Corruptors, that's all he's going to need, very few Corruptors, just five of them here. The roaches just steamrolling through everything. The Colossi falling, the probes and the stalkers falling as well. And I think this is going to be it for Trickster. Going to go 1 0, or 0 1 rather, I should say, so far here in this group. GG! But it's okay, because no matter how badly he does stay, he's still in Code S. Yep, that's true in this group. And even before that, you didn't probably have to worry too much about Rain, I think. I don't want to say Rain's bad, he's actually really good. And people give him so much trash because he all-ins a lot. I mean, he does, but he's he's good. He does it at the right he's times. He's played consistently well, so i got to say, yeah. can't give him too much junk for it. We're going to take a two-minute break, and then when we get back, July versus Nesty. Left, a member of the team I am, which stands for Incredible Miracle, also named after a brand of drink, has won the GSL twice. Very strong Zerg indeed. I am Misty.
<laughs> they were just in awe with that girl. So was I, man. I don't blame them. So there is the man himself, Nesty. A very wise and powerful Zerg. His opponent at the top right. A member of the team, Startail. His name correlates to the month. There he is. Gonna be a little bit difficult for him because he, uh... ...when Infestors come into play. Uh, and it also, both these players will want to try and split up their Infestors. I've seen quite a few games where there's like five to ten Infestors all in one group and then you just fungle them a couple of times and it's all gone. Yeah. Well, we these certainly is wanted to scout and they were able to see that giant triangle <laughs> spine crawlers there. Yeah, and even more going down as well. Nesty does not want to be attacked by these roaches. Yeah, he... He's really utilizing the fact that the map is huge, but even so, he's making it very safe when, with what he does. He's checked around several times as early as trying to find if there are hidden expansions for July. So he knows he's got the fourth base. He knows that he's up on bases. He's just mining gas from that. Hold that thought. A few of these Judas do get fungled. And of course, even a queen helping out here. The Infested Terrans take out those Mutas. Yeah, it looks like, oh, Nest T going to work on the back rocks. Or not really the back rocks, but the rocks down into the natural. Yeah, he's just opening up more avenues of attack. But it looks like he may get fungled. Does react quickly enough and backs away. Looks like July doesn't even care. He's going to take those rocks down. Makes them, wants to make sure nothing's coming from there. There are a lot of spine crawlers at Nest T's main. That is so many spines. Mm -hmm. He just wants to use this mutilist style to buy himself time and hold that other base. Yep. So he's making all these spines just in case July says, I'm not going to worry about the counterattack. I'm just going to go. And so he wants to be prepared for that kind of situation. That's a lot of drones lost. In fact, there are 16 oh. spine crawlers there. Ultralisk cavern. That is pretty unusual. That is very the, unusual. The cool thing about doing this is if your opponent has an almost purely roast composition mm -hmm. and investors, investors don't work against ultras, and <laughs> ultras do decently against roaches. I don't want to say they do really well, but they do decently. Looks like we're going to see a Ling Ultra Infesta mix as well with, with a few muters uh, popped in here. Four Nesties, we do see Adrenal Glands being researched as well. Plus two melee attacks on the way as well. And you know, I've seen T-Gun do this a little bit sometimes in ZBZ. I yep. actually sit next to T-Gun when we're practicing in the house, so sometimes I look over and he does this kind of style in the late game of ZBZ. Oh no! Oh! I only caught a couple of muters there from the animation. I thought he would have gotten them all, yeah, but he's going to lose two more muters. And he's also taking a fifth base as well. Actually, uh, this he didn't lose those mutas, and they are going to kill an investor. They're getting revenge. <laughs> he doesn't want to fungle those. All right, there he goes. And this makes a lot more sense now, coming in, uh, that Nesty took that that back natural with the extra gas. Makes much more sense now. Now that plus two carapace is going to finish up here for Nesty here pretty shortly. Eight ultras in production. That is a lot. Now July has his own ultralist cavern though, unstable. Yes. This is pretty weird. Both players making ultras. Six ultras in production for July. Eight ultras in production for Nesty. Interesting to say the least. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at this. I'm like, is this really happening right now? It's a late game ZVZ with Ultralists in production <laughs> for both players. Have you ever seen Ultralists fight Ultralists? No, Sounds I like haven't. the most like, badass thing to watch ever. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, just looking at the upgrades though, I think July is still ahead. He's yeah, just... actually, let me check that really quick. It's actually even 2 2, except the plus 2 missile attacks for July and plus two melee attacks for uh, for Nesty as soon as they finish up, they're almost done. Both of them are upgrading everything here for the Ultras as well. Now, there are a lot of Infestors for Nesty that's going to be really helpful against the Roach Heavy Army of July. Mm -hmm. The Infestors for July are going to be useful only against Zerglings. Of course, the Ultras really won't come into play, but I think the combination of units is a little bit better for July because if he fungles those Zerglings, they're just going to die. They just die instantly. They can't do anything. They can't move. They can't fight. But here we go. We're going to see them. Fungals. That looks awesome with the fungal on the, on the Ultra List. Infested Terrans going everywhere. The Mute is coming into play as well. I'm surprised that they're not acting. That is so many Infested Terrans. That is oh so many God. Infested Terrans. And it looks like Nesty is going to crush through a lot of this. He's trying to walk the Ultra List past, but his own Infested Terrans are actually slowing down their pathing. And it looks like we are going to have a small counterattack from July. This is a weird situation. I actually, I don't know. This is really weird. The Ultras did look really weird with that fungal on them. Of course, <laughs> they can still move while they're fungled. 
but they do, they do take the damage. We've got 11 roaches and six more ultras in production here for July. He might be able to clean up the rest of these. He does have a lot of roaches coming in from the left as well. Finally cleaning up all these ultras as they are low on health. This is extremely interesting. This is just interesting. I just, I just want to like give you the casting chair and just go through the game. I just want to watch. <laughs> I'm like, no, hold on. I, I can't talk right now. I'm watching this. <laughs> Um, but seriously, it looks like this little counterattack from July will be thwarted with good fungals. But the the roaches are just split so well. The ultras are just not doing as much damage as they could be. Yep. And he's actually going to use infested terrans instead of fungals, and a decent choice. Yep. Well, always, July does have the option to do exactly what he's doing here, just kiting these ultras as best he can. They do do a lot of damage. Uh, in those great numbers, but looks like he's also taken another base. All these spine crawlers being moved up to the, the base in the middle here. Yeah, those spine crawlers actually are going to come into play here. Now, a little counter attack by July. This time, he has the high ultra list count. And those ultras, though, not going to be able to go through these spine crawlers very easily. Some Zerlings coming in to tank the damage as well. And this is actually the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen on Stable. <laughs> but there are so many roaches here for July, but it doesn't matter because the spine crawlers are here. I'm not entirely sure why July is trying to attack into this location. Why would you ever attack into Ultralis with spine crawlers on their backs? Why would you ever do that? I don't know. It seems to be working through all these ultras now. There's a lot of roaches. Yeah, but he hasn't actually killed any of the spine crawlers. He's just lost all of his entire army. Why did he do that? GG. GG. Wow. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's like you see 10 ultras.